This week on Performance TV, the crew discovers how to make engines last longer and run better, what to do when good seals go bad, and show off a killer conversion for diesel diehards. Coming up. Welcome to this week's Performance TV, where we have Danny here with us from Steel Rubber. Danny, when people are doing a project, there's just certain things that they don't go to a junkyard for when they're trying to restore something. You need to go right with the right parts, and that's why we have Steel Rubber. And you guys cover all kinds of stuff, but today we're talking about the really cool year of Chevy trucks. That's right. So we've got on the table here some 67 to 72 Chevy truck parts. And like you said, weather stripping is one of those things you're not going to go to a junkyard for. It's just as bad as it was. Even the new old stock, most of that stuff is pretty deteriorated. So if you're wanting to do a nice restoration, you need to get some reproduction rubber, and that's where we come in to help. I mean, this, this stuff was made from the designs and everything, so it's going to fit so good when you're putting it back together. Right. Everything we make uh, is copied from originals, so it's going to fit and perform even better than those originals did. What if we don't want the truck to look exactly original, but we kind of want to play around and have some different ways of doing things? You know, not everybody likes chrome. That's right. So that's where we come in. Right here, we have the windshield gaskets for those trucks. We have the kind that accepts the chrome molding that has the slot in there for the chrome molding to go into. And here we have a style that doesn't have a chrome molding. So if you just like that black, clean look, we have that as well. And it's not just for that part of the truck. I mean, you're pretty much covering everything. Right, so these are the doors. These are the original style door weather stripping that came off the truck. It's a glue on style. It has the molded corners, but we get a lot of requests from customers who want to update it, make it a little more modern. So here we have a push on style, which is a more modern type of weather strip. It just pushes onto that pinch weld instead of glues on it. Again, it still has the same molded corners, so it fits just like the original installs easier, performs better. What about if someone is going to do a vehicle and they don't really want the windshield wipers and, and all of that type of stuff? So we do make some kits that are for street rods. You know, if you're wanting to do something a little bit different, if you're wanting to take out the chrome molding, if you want to take out the division bar on some of the older cars, we make gaskets that are for that. We make custom chop top gaskets. Since we produce in house, there's a lot of things that we can do for the customer on a one off scale. So if you're doing a complete ground up restoration and you think, okay, so I know I need this and I need this and I need quarter panels and all this stuff. But when it comes to all of the different weather stripping and rubber type pieces, I'm not going to know everything that I need, but you guys can help with that. That's right. So we make these year make model and even style specific catalogs and they're so helpful because everything that's in there is for your vehicle. It shows you all the options, you know, right next to each other. So if we have more than one type of windshield gasket, it shows them right there, shows what the difference is, and then you can make that decision, oh, well, I didn't even know that was an option. You know, I, I would like it without chrome. So then you can get that. You know, we even make stuff that's not necessarily came on the car to begin with. So we make like a run channel here that's for a vent window delete system. So if you're wanting to take out the vent window and put in a full size glass, that run channel will be the piece that replaces where that vent window was. Nice. You know, when you go back to, okay, for a truck, we know it was a two door truck, but certain models and makes, you know, it was this type and it was a four door and it was whatever. When you are calling in to get that catalog, you guys aren't going to just send out one. Yeah, this is for the whole year. It's specific to that particular model. Right. And like Tri-5 Chevys are a great example. You know, all three years have, have little minute differences. Then you have two door sedans, two door hard tops, convertibles, four door sedans, four door hard tops, wagons, two door wagons, two door hard top wagons, the, mo the nomads. <laughs> so all those are different and specific. So. And you've never said that all together before. No, this is the first time. But we have the catalogs that are just for that. So you get it, it's just for your vehicle. You don't have to go through and say, okay, is this for the 56? You know, the 56 has a split year trunk. You don't have to make any of those decisions. It's all there for you, easy to read, easy to find out. And then if you do have any questions, our customer service staff is great and very knowledgeable and can always help you with any, anything like that. And not only that, but you guys have a ton of videos on installation and tips and things that you found out to really help people who may be doing this for the very first time. 
Right, so for instance, with these particular types of windshield gaskets, the kind that has the chrome in it is gonna be installed differently than the kind without. You know, this will be installed on the body first, and then the glass, and then the locking strip. And then this style is put on the glass first and then roped in. And we have videos on how to do both of those. Yeah, because you can start off and, and save yourself so many hours in an installation just by taking a few minutes to watch what you guys have put together online because you know right where to go from. You know, and it's not just all of our autos, but you have catalogs as well for RVs and boats and, and that type of thing too with steel rubber. Exactly. So, you know, we really started diving into the RV and marine markets. Our customers are thrilled to know it because they have lots of toys. Right. And we put the same quality in those parts that we do our automotive. And anyone who has an RV or boat can tell you, you know, some of the quality is a little lacking on some of those models. But we bring the experience and quality and manufacturing techniques that we've had for so long into those industries. And the Universal Catalog as well. Find out what Steel Rubber can offer to you. Go to their website at SteelRubber.com and we'll have more of Performance TV right after this. To be considered American made, a car or truck must be assembled in the U.S. and at least half of its parts must be domestic. Today, 18 car makers can say they produce American made cars. But it was a lot different 120 years ago. Back then, there were over 500 companies in the car business. Too bad most of them are gone. We'd love to work on Baby Moose Cycle Car here on Performance TV. Performance TV is brought to you by Borla, the world's most winning exhaust. Steel rubber products, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping. RockAuto.com, all the parts your car will ever need. And by Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. One of my favorite things to do around here is fit classics with new technology, like this 1969 C10. It came with an AM FM stereo. Not good enough anymore. We need Bluetooth and MP3. And my great friend Kathy Fisher is going to tell you more about it. Well, Joe, what's really cool about this radio from Custom Auto Sound is that it's going to look absolutely stock. First of all, you're not going to have to worry about any cutting, you know, bezels, anything like that. It's going to fit right inside, and man, is it going to look stock. You know, it's the slide bar radio from Custom Auto Sound. What do they mean by that? Well, see how it looks like an AM radio right now? Now you're going to have all of your digital. You're going to have everything that you need to see. Seven different colors to customize to make it look cool with your ride. You know, even some blue like for our 69 truck that we have back here. And everything is marked. So all of your buttons. I'm going to show you all the cool things that you can do. And you're going to be able to use your iPod. You're going to be able to hook it up if you still want to use a CD changer. Everything is marked right from the factory from Custom Auto Sound. You're going to have all of your buttons, everything that's going to come with it. All of your wires are labeled again no cutting but you're gonna have some great sound you're gonna be able to hook up Bluetooth this one does have that optional so you're gonna be able to tie your phone right into it 300 watts of sound all kinds of cool things you can do and it's gonna look really cool in your ride the thing that's cool about custom auto sound is that they make everything super easy now this C10 a classic but we need to update it and so you check out the piece it makes it just very easy because every plug is keyed so you can't possibly get it wrong what I like to do is get everything plugged in first our speaker wires and then the main plug and you'll feel it clip right in there we'll talk more about the speakers momentarily then the antenna goes in the stock appearance is really what everybody likes. This one is the slider, and you're going to see that in a second. But send it back there, and it goes in very easily. Now, I feel a little opportunity to hold it right there. And then look at this. Now, Custom Auto Sound goes out of their way to make sure everything looks factory. When you see the knobs, you'll see that they have done everything in their power to make sure that nobody who sees this stereo thinks it's anything other than stock. Except once they fire it up, then you suddenly will notice that you have Bluetooth potentially, you have an opportunity to hear your MP3s off a USB drive. I like the hands-free speaking on the road because that's a safety feature. And most importantly, you have got something that gets you the tunes you want. Now, a lot of times we talk about the stereo and not about the speakers. 
on this particular edition, we're going to delve into that, and I'm very excited about it. Now check this out. This is the functionality. These knobs are how you're going to change stations and bands and otherwise. So while we do this, we're going to kick it over to Kathy, and she's going to tell us all about the speaker system that is going to go into our C10. Okay, so now we have the cool radio from Custom Auto Sound, but you gotta have great speakers to run all that power through, and they offer everything. Just like for the 67 through 72 truck, you got your sidekicks. Already come with the speakers, they're gonna slide right in. You may have to do a little bit of modification if you have the vents or whatever here in the bottom. 100 watt speakers, everything is already gonna be included for you with the wire all set up. But what about some bass to go along with that? Custom Auto Sound has got that covered as well. And you're not gonna have to worry about some big box or anything like that, slide right underneath your seat. They have that for you with these aluminum undercover two eight inch subwoofers. Now you're gonna be able to go up to about 250 watts. You not only have your subwoofer, but on each end of the undercover two, you've got tweeters. So you're gonna be able to have everything covered, all three, the mid, the high, and the base and everything assembled right here in the USA and man is this going to sound great. Well we finished our install and it looks absolutely beautiful. You can see the knobs everything looked factory and this is the best part the slider boom you reveal the custom auto sound logo. You can change the colors you can listen to a USB you can do mp3 you can do hands-free driving it is modern technology in your classic. What more could you want? It is absolutely beautiful. We'll be back with more Performance TV after this. The automatic transmission made its automotive debut in 1940. And up until 15 years ago, about half of the new models sold in the US were offered with manual transmissions. Today, what percentage of cars sold here in the US have stick shifts? Is it two, five, 12, or 20? The answer is A. Only 2% of cars sold today have manual transmissions. More Performance TV coming up. Performance TV coming from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Performance TV. If you've got an old engine that you're looking to bring back to life, you're going to want to pay attention to this. Pasha's in the house from Tribotex. Pasha, tell us a little bit about, about your product, Tribotex. Tribotex uh, is a brainchild of my PhD research that was at Washington State University. And at Washington State University, we looked at how to make hip replacements uh, to last longer so you don't have to go for the surgery after seven years. But what we found was remarkably applicable to other areas, to cars, to wind turbines, to power generating equipment. And that was the nanoparticles that are not just small pieces of material, but have brain on its own. And we call it the dumbest possible artificial intelligence. Very interesting. Now we've heard nanoparticles, and that is becoming something that we're starting to see more and more. Explain exactly what that is. Generally, nanoparticles are just tiny pieces of material that are 50 times smaller than uh, thickness of the hair. In comparison, many people ask, how is that, are they gonna stuck in the filter? In the filter, typical filter, pores are about half of the thickness of the hair. So about 20 microns, when the hair is about 50 microns. And the nanoparticles, usually less than one micron. Very interesting. So how does it work for an engine that has some wear? So for uh, this unique type of nanoparticles have two different sides. When one side is sticky and another is slippery, and sticky side attaches to a surface and slippery form a film. So when they build particle by particle, they form this much thicker coating than any lubricant can say that you can actually see by the naked eye. And that coating compensates for the wear that was accumulated for years of years of running the vehicle. And you have this for gas engines, diesel engines, and even transmissions? Yes, we, uh, we slowly rolling out different applications. Initial application was for the uh, high performance gearboxes like uh, racing bots, uh, wind turbines, power generating equipment. But that application required more, uh, more special knowledge about machine. We uh, took a step back about three years ago and we decided to release first product for the engines because an engine you have 
maximum effect, maximum impact, best improvement in the fuel economy. People hear the difference just in the sound, how the engine becomes so quiet, so smooth. And that application we rolled out on Kickstarter, then put on Indiegogo, that Amazon, and it just exploded. Hit their website, check them out for more information. A little modern technology coming to your engine bay. If you want to bring your engine back to life, you can do it with Tribotext. Time now for the lowdown with Magic Creeper. We have seen a lot of the great uses that you can use the Magic Creeper for. Obviously, rolling underneath a vehicle, that type of thing. But let's say just as simple as you're on your way to work, Joe, or whatever, and you need to check the tire pressure, but you don't want to mess up your knees when you're at the service station or whatever. Guess what? Magic Creeper is going to come in handy. You're dressed all nice and fancy. You're going in for the big job interview or court appearance, and you don't want to get all dirtied up. Guess what? You pull it out of the back, and you've got something to kneel on, and it is much easier and comfortable as well. That's right, and it's going to keep you clean. It's not going to mess up your knees, especially, you know, as we're getting older like Joe, and, you know, don't want to mess your knees up. I get it. Listen. And I get it. I have been there. And uh, we are good to go with this right front. But in the end, it's the simplest innovations that make the biggest difference. We've learned that over the years on Performance TV. That's right. And with the Magic Creeper, you know, having one in your vehicle, they're lightweight. They only weigh three pounds. They're not going to take up a bunch of room. And if you would need to get under the vehicle for whatever reason, it's going to keep you clean. This is water resistant. It's puncture resistant. And you roll it right back up. Throw it in your vehicle and you're off to that big job interview. So true. Find out more by going to their website at magiccreeper.com. Every year, 160,000 people head to the SEMA show to check out the latest in the automotive aftermarket industry. Nearly 2,500 companies from 140 countries gather in Las Vegas to show off their wares. Just how big is the aftermarket industry? According to the Specialty Equipment Marketing Association, $45 billion. More Performance TV coming up after this. Performance TV is brought to you by Stage 8 Fasteners, home of the world's best locking hitter bolt. Locking kits now available for all turbo applications. Go to stage8.com. Neil Chance Converters, home of the world's fastest automatic door slammers. Clamp Tight, the clamp making tool. And by Stealth Performance Products, providing diesel performance solutions. Welcome back to Performance TV. Nowadays, there's a couple of engines that everybody wants. If we're talking about gasoline, we're talking about the LS. If we're talking about diesel, it's the Cummins. Like this big Ford, guess what's under the hood? Cummins diesel. Justina, this is your business, swapping out Cummins in whatever. What are you guys seeing? So we see a lot of different stuff, whether it's putting a Cummins into a Ford, we've done power strokes into earlier trucks, and then anything anybody wants to see as far as a conversion, put Duramax in anything. Um, we just make standalone harnesses, make everything work. We can do transmission swaps, auto to manual, manual to auto, you know, switch out a, a Dodge Transmission 48, put in an Allison. I mean, we can do all that. Once upon a time, it was like all about brand loyalty. Now people want what they want and the best of the best. Yes, they want quality products. They want a quality build, something that is going to withstand time and last for them forever and ever. So, you know, we try to pride ourselves in using American made products as much as we can, you know, such as products such as the uh, Suncoast diesel transmission products, then Schaefer's Oil, we use their full line of products in every engine, oil, gear, transmission compartments that we can. So diesel heads all around the country, they can come to you guys for a preferred list of parts that have worked in your conversions, or they can come to you for a whole conversion. And it doesn't even have to be a truck. I've seen diesels in you know, flat rods and street rods. They've become very popular. Correct, correct. We talk with the customer and we collaborate a build and design what they want, what's going to work out best for, th for their application, whether they want to tow, street drive, drag race, truck pull, anything, we can build them a truck. And you have got a, a list of partners that you've mentioned and it must be difficult to become approved by Reich Diesel. You guys have tested a lot of machinery to, to be affiliated with you. That's got to say a lot. We, we do, we do. You know, we need to stand behind our products that we utilize and build and 
you know, if, if they can't last on these projects, we don't want to put them in vehicles. We don't want to leave anybody stranded on the road or not relying on their, their build. And you're making a lot of power, obviously, to go down the road in one of these things. This thing is mega, of course. You guys got to stand up to that torque. We sure do. Like this one's a 12 valve Cummins and you know, we added some fuel system upgrades and turbocharger and I haven't got it on our mobile dyno yet, but it should be roughly about seven, 750 horsepower. Oh, that's all to the wheels. So, you know, just baby steps, just a little so show truck. So it's not like my personal truck. That's I think it's a street, it's a street truck and it's 906 horsepower. We dyno today. Well, I love hearing that, that your personal vehicle is also something with extreme power because you got to show off what you guys can do for your business. So you've got the great products, you've got the great partners, and you can do just about anything when it comes to a conversion build. The Cummins engine, it really has stood out. We see them everywhere. Uh, why are you guys so knowledgeable with that particular engine? The Cummins has proven itself and it's pretty reliable and it's it's obviously really easy to convert, especially for us, because you know we do it all the time. They they create a lot of room. If you see in the new Power Strokes and some of the new Duramaxes, I mean, they, they take up a lot of space in that engine compartment. And being the inline cylinder that it is, you can you have a lot of space to do a lot with. For those people who want something Reich diesel and they're thinking, you know, I don't want a whole conversion, or maybe I can't do that right now. What do you have for the person that just wants to get in with your company? So we have, you know, basic products that can be purchased or we can build for them and upgrade different things as piping and stuff. And from there, we can just build a package that, you know, fits their needs or what they can allow for at this time. And we can even do baby steps and go through builds, you know, a little bit at a time. That makes it perfect. I love what I'm seeing. I love the idea that people are converting and using and updating and building and making. You guys are doing a great job. Hit their website if you want more information. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for this week. If you have a product that you think will stand up in the Performance TV studios, email jeff at masterstv.com. We'll see you next week.